Hej, hej. <coughs> R6 tonight. Probably. I've been grinding Rainbow Six pretty much every night. So, probably do that later. Thanks to the resub freak. And the resub chicken. Any chance you'll buy the rights to Shadowrun 2007 and just re-release it? I mean, if they're offering me a good deal. It's a prime Meruem. But I don't know what I'd accomplish with that. The game is just readily available right now. Thanks to the gift sub, honey. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit, Joan. I gave you the crazy generosity. Yeah, my, my day's been pretty cool, actually. And it should be up there soon, Joshua. Thanks for the membership, Brad. The gift sub, Wes. Oh, yeah, Sandland is the other uh, Toriyama thing, right? Yeah. Is it out? Thanks for your sub, Karuto. Hope you're enjoying Kingdom Hearts. Thanks for some glump. Glad your day has been good, Jacob. Nice membership, Fish. And Xiphoid. And that's smart. That's when the Assassin's Creed series really falls off anyway. Thanks for some vomit. Except for Black Flag. Black Flag picks it up again. <coughs> Thanks membership, David. Happy 21st birthday. Hi, Finn. Gears 3 tonight or tomorrow? Probably not tonight or tomorrow. Like I said, I'm making a plat push right now, so probably after plat, go to Gears 3. Unless plat ends up taking a long time. Thanks, membership Gator. No big plans. Just going over some shit and then probably grinding some siege later. Tomorrow we have Rebel Moon Part 2. I know nobody's excited. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Evelyn. Doing alright, Wonders. Did you hear the WHO warning for bird flu? I did not. And just an SUV Astral. He's a tier one captain. It was a great clip. Really enjoyed it. <coughs> He's a membership pelican. I saw Fallout got renewed for Season 2. I think we all knew that was coming with the success of Season 1. Still hype, though. Have you seen what's currently happening in New York? No. What's going on in New York? Nice, Tic Tac. Well, that sounds like good news. Thanks, membership, Courtney. And Radial. Happy birthday, Victor. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on in New York. I haven't seen anything from it. If I would turn any video game into a movie show, what would it be and why? I just don't have a cool answer for that. The only one that comes to mind is Bloodborne, and that's just because the universe is so cool. But I don't even know if it'd work really well as a movie or show. But that's the only one that pops into my head. Appreciate it, Meth. Nice. Thanks, membership Yoshi. There's some stink bug. This was a really long time of watching Yoshi. Happy birthday, Pew. Oh, I plan on doing a Halo playthrough again. 
the whole series this time. I'm not skipping ODST and Reach again. He's probably bad one. I am skipping five though. I'm not gonna bother with five. Fuck that. Playing five once is more than any human being should ever have to suffer through. Oh my god, what the fuck is going on? Thank you so much for that, Bo. Jesus Christ, thank you, Bo. They should do a live-action adaptation of Halo. Yeah, that'd be cool if they ever bothered. Hey, can you imagine? Get Neil Blomkamp on the horn? There's membership Kalen. And the membership Dylan. And Tunnel and Heavy. Jesus Christ, Heavy, that's awful. And a long time ago, a long time ago I played that. I haven't played it in years. Again, really appreciate it, Bo. No, today was pretty cool. I don't really go out very much, but today we went to like a... It's not really a ranch. It's just like a giant empty plot of land. And rode like some <laughs> some little dirt bikes around. And shot some guns. It was like the most American day ever. It's been a while since I've done that. And I have not been on a dirt bike since fucking 10 years old, maybe. Never go mudding. Long, 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 long time ago. What a manly afternoon. I know. <laughs> then, like I said last night, I bought a fucking sledgehammer and I'm trying to get my hands on like a giant tractor tire so I can start doing <laughs> sledgehammer tire hits. Because I was doing a little research because I was curious because I hate cardio. Cardio is really boring and it's. It, like basketball once a week's not enough and apparently like the number one cardio thing you can do for yourself is like wood chops but I don't feel like just buying a bunch of wood and chopping it so instead I'm just gonna do this sledgehammer hitting tire which is like the most manly shit ever it apparently even like marginally boosts your testosterone which is kind of cool but the chat last night was making a good point that I could sell the chopped wood on like Facebook marketplace which is like an actual runescape money making method just chopping wood so I'm kind of still on the fence, but I'm still going to get that tractor tire regardless. Thanks to the reset, Nello and Sherbert and Noble and Goddess. Been going well, Gomez. I appreciate the the question. Thanks to some Salty. Just been having fun. Thanks to membership, Necromancer. Hey, no worries at all. Hope the helmet treats you very well. Have you seen the trailer for Playground by Rodrigo Sosa? That sounds really familiar. I'm surprised, Obese. I thought for sure you'd like Blue Eyes Samurai. Thanks, Risa, bud. Thanks, Pigeon. What was it? Playground by Rodrigo Sosa. Is this kind of like Die Fantasy? Like, is it something I can watch on stream, or is it going to be, like, a little too much? Thanks for your sub cod. Because I have, I have not heard of this before. The style immediately looks cool, though. And no, I didn't play any Avatar Fortnite. Hey, well, thank you for that, Tic Tac. I hope you're well. Is it Tier 1 Moonlight? There's like five different people that said way too much. I'll just keep this in another tab and <laughs> watch it another time. Thanks, membership, Ryan. Yeah, I didn't know about it either, Tyler. But it was very fascinating. That's fair, obese. You gonna play X Defiant server test this weekend? No, wait till the game actually comes out 
if it ever actually comes out. They keep delaying it, but if the time ever comes that it releases, I'll play it. Thanks, Membership Commander. I'm the Prime Cheesy. I'm sorry to hear that. I don't really have any good advice for you, but I hope you find something that you're passionate about, Liam. You'll find something. Thanks, nice membership, Matthew. I'm wishing you the best. What's your opinion on car on caramel apple suckers? Don't know if I've had any. I'm just not a big caramel guy. Or caramel, however you want to say it. Thanks for your sub tree fitty. I do, Sabrina. Oh yeah, Transformers 1 trailer dropped today. I watched that earlier. Chris Hemsworth sounds pretty good, actually. Oh my god. His membership. Soy. Membership. Undivic. The design looks ugly, in my opinion. I don't think it looks ugly, per se. It does look different, though. Like, it, it does look very not Transformer-y. But I don't hate it. Like, Beast Wars was a huge, de huge departure from normal Transformers design, and I love Beast Wars. I thought it looks fine. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you, Synergizer. Yeah, hopefully it works out. Appreciate the generosity, man. Transformers 1 looks terrible. I didn't think so. How long do you think we'll be here? I'm not talking to you. I haven't seen people's response to it. What, what do people you not like about it? so screwed. Thought you weren't talking to me. You two, come with me. It's like the most standard Transformers. Report to waste management. Hi there, I'm V127. I'm actually working on some nicknames. The the one I'm floating right now is um Badassatron, which is actually pronounced Badass. Like this is a, it's much more geared towards kids. Like it, I can't even hate it. It's just not me as the target audience and it looks fine at what it does. Like maybe you guys don't remember how childish things like Beast Wars really was. I think maybe Transformers kind of blowing up in the mainstream consciousness made people forget just how child-friendly Transformers used to be. There's a membership gleamer. Too much Nickelodeon animation and emoji movie? I mean, I guess. I wouldn't say emoji movie, but Nickelodeon, yeah, I definitely get that. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, though. <coughs> The new Destiny raid will drop three days after Final Shape launch. Didn't hear that, but I will be hopping into it with the boys. We'll give it a whirl. When Sparking Zero releases, are you going to stream it? And what character are you looking forward to or hoping they add? Of course I'll be streaming it. And the only character I really care about being there. I, I, they're going to have pretty much every character ever from the sound of it, but the only one that I want to make sure is there is Janimba. That's always been one of my favorites. Would you recommend a streaming software? Just OBS. It's free. Simple. Thanks, membership Keen and Gleamer. You hear about the guy who killed his childhood friend because he was trying to summon Bigfoot. What? Summon Bigfoot how? Like going to into the woods and making a mating call? Like, they make it sound like he was 
using a Ouija board. What? Oh my god, wait, yeah, this just happened. Like, it actually just got posted, at least on this source, a couple hours ago. Were you there? Do you see it happen? We got boots on the ground here for the reporting. I appreciate Synergizer. I hate what Epic Games has done with Rocket League. Absolutely hate it. Let me do this source. Overall, I like Epic Games. I think usually they're on a decent path. I don't like Epic Games Launcher at all, but I hate how they've been handling Rocket League. And Fire, thank you for that, Meth. Good shit. Oklahoma fisherman who thought friend was trying to feed him to Bigfoot convicted of murder. Well, this is a little different. You made it sound like he was treating Bigfoot like it was a devil that he had to draw a pentagram on the floor for. A man who claimed he killed his friend because he believed the victim was summoning Bigfoot was convicted of murder. Never mind. It's actually the first sentence. I see where you got it from now. That, that could work, Marvin. Larry Doyle Sanders was found guilty by an Oklahoma judge on April 17th. Jimmy Knighton was strangled to death in July 2022 while out fishing with Sanders. After waiving a right to jury trial, Sanders' attorney reportedly claimed that his client had acted in self-defense. What a fucking crazy claim. This sounds like the scene out of Lord of the Rings, where Smeagol strangles his friend for the ring. They were out fishing and he fucking strangled him to death? The Oklahoma reported that Sanders claimed during testimony that while out noodling with Knighton, that's when you, if I remember correctly, that's when you like bare hand fishes, right? You put your whole arm into a fish's mouth and yank him up, right? Yeah, for catfish. Okay. He had seen three Sasquatch looking figures by the river. Witnesses for the prosecution testified that Sanders said he believed Knighton was trying to kill him and send his body down the river as a sacrifice to Bigfoot. The paper reported that a forensic psychiatrist testified that Sanders was suffering from methamphetamine-induced psychosis and believed he was defending himself. Okay, he was on meth. That changes everything. That makes a lot more sense now. Knighton died following a fight during which Sanders put him in a chokehold. Jimmy truly enjoyed anything and everything outdoors. He loved to fish, hunt, hunt game, ride four-wheelers, and most of all, drink his beer around a big bonfire. Jimmy never met a stranger and would, get it, would give anyone the shirt off his back. That's fucking sad. What an awful way to go. Getting strangled to death because your friend on meth thought you were trying to feed him to three big feet down the river? Christ. That's haunting. Let me see some bucket. And yeah, I did see that, William. The Glorb interview should be up within the next couple of days. Congrats on the 5 0 Valorant split. Thank you. Team is looking so fucking strong. <clears throat> Thanks for the membership. Awesome. Yeah, I definitely disagree with that one. Awesome, but fair enough. That is terrible, Ram. No, I didn't see it. Good question, Spark. I don't think it... I don't think it could. Did you see the British are using Axe body spray to make their Rams more docile? And probably not Rodrigo. Why would that work? Axe body spray finds an unlikely new con new customer. Grouchy sheep. Oh my god! I fucking what? What? Wait, this price is outrageous. Huh. 
the normal offer is twelve fifty a week to read some dog shit Wall Street Journal articles. Yeah, let me get my wallet out. That's crazy. That's you've got some fucking chutzpah. Twelve fifty a week to read some articles. And perhaps noisy. And I've not seen the new one yet, Keen. Thanks to the Prime even. Let me find another source now. Glad you enjoyed Elden Ring, Devin. Just in time for the DLC. You may be familiar with Lynx Africa deodorant spray, often a popular stocking filler for teenage boys, or perhaps it's your chosen deodorant. Is it called Lynx there, have you not heard Axe? It's being used as a tool in a sheep farmer's toolbox. A UK shepherd swears by the spray to goofus. tame her fighting rams. <clears throat> Kasia Brownie took the theory to a Kiwi farm. Normally popular with teenage boys for its stimulating scene. Is it still popular? I doubt it. Apparently Axe had such a bad reputation. Axe used to be extremely popular, but it got such a bad reputation and became synonymous with loser that I think most people just dropped it. Did it make a comeback? Is it Prime Aqua? I'm getting mostly nose. He's a membership Russian. Maybe it might be popular overseas. I mean, this is Lynx, so it's not Axe per se, so maybe it's more popular there. It has an entirely different effect on rival Rams. It's like an off switch. And um, you don't put much on, obviously, just spray the fleece. UK shepherdess Sam Bryce claims it's the secret to taming their tempers during breeding season. Why? I don't take credit for this at all. This was um, told to me by some of the other ladies, several of us doing it right across the country, and I think even the world now. See if it works on a ram, eh? But has it reached <laughs> New Zealand yet? It does seem like a bit of a tall tale. No, fresh is fresh. The brand has often used animals in its marketing. <laughs> And it's long been applied to young farmers. I was a teenager in the 90s when Lynx Africa first came out, and tell you what, in my dorm room at boarding school, that's all you could smell. But scent and farming is usually used on you. I feel like you could probably just, it's probably not anything specific with the Axe body spray. You could probably just use any kind of antiperspirant, right? Why would it be, unless they have some kind of formula in there where it's like catnip for sheep or something, like I don't see why that would work. Is there some aspen bacon? Is it toxic for them? I don't know. It doesn't seem toxic. I mean, it almost looks like they get high off it. Chanel number five. But what we use it for is to help mother on orphan lambs. The boys have their own scent, and that's the problem. The rams I appreciate do get it, Jay. Up the testosterone, and you know, and they fight. It's their natural instinct. So, you know, and, and often they can make the heads bleed. Um, occasionally, you know, if it's really bad, you might find one that's been killed. But blood on the heads often attracts flies, and they can get fly struck. Could the six dollar can be the answer to protecting these fifteen thousand dollar animals? Whoa! Honest, I don't think so. You know, the rams are, are built for testosterone. You know, they're built to fight. It's survival of the fittest. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's fucking encouraging him. Man's got his own, like, Ram fight club there. I mean, he's hyping him up. They're 15 grand? Thanks, Eurisub, Zion, Chris. Thanks, Andy. No, there's no way, right? There's no fucking way. Llamas are 20k. What the fuck are you talking about? Tell me these barnyard animals are that much? I thought they were cheap. Like, isn't a goat only like 500 bucks or something? It shows how much I know about barnyard animals, I guess, but I thought they were cheap. Let me see. Thanks, Risa Jolly. Time splitters isn't a bad idea. Maybe I will. This just brought up trucks. I just typed in how much to buy a ram like an idiot, and I just got a bunch of trucks. <laughs> That was a stupid search. Alright, here. Here's some people discussing buying this particular RAM. They're selling it through Reddit. Let me see some of the offers. Hmm. 
Looks about 2500 is one of the offers here. This guy breeds rams as a source of income. He averages $450 for breeding rams. He says, I don't do pedigree. I don't exactly know what he means in that context with that. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry to hear that, Carbon. Nice to give some Sally. There you some Fisto. Hope it gets better for you, Carbon. There you some Mina. game maybe playing today probably siege here in just a little bit i've just been grinding a ton of siege <clears throat> did you see the attempted stabbing of mar mari on live stream no let's use some hammer or hammy oh 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 wait yeah i saw these headlines yesterday that's right i didn't know that was their name It doesn't sound like it was an attempt. Stabbed Sydney Bishop Mar Mari Emanuel forgives attacker. You are my son, I love you. Emanuel who was slashed in the head and chest during the attack. That's that's definitely not an attempt. That was I mean it wasn't a, it it started as an attempt, but it was successful. Like successfully completed. It sounds like they did get stabbed. And he's just letting bygones be bygones on that. He said, I'm doing fine, recovering quickly. show the video. Brother, I can't show him getting stabbed. Though this chiropractics video is also pretty extreme. Man's getting a ring dinger. Never mind. Pseudo ring dinger. I did not know about that one, Hades. No, I only do moist meter for new stuff. Not like going back. Reminds me of that Pope who got shot in an assassination attempt and when he recovered he visited the assassin in jail and forgave him. That's... That's gotta be so frustrating for the assassin. <laughs> what a fucking power move though. Probably didn't actually forgive him, he just knew that'd just make him mad. Hey, look, your aim's dog shit. I forgive you for that. Is it tier one pseudo? Bronze aim GG. Yeah, man, just gives him, like, a subscription at Kovacs. Brush up while you're in here, bub. Favorite GameCube game, Luigi's Mansion. I don't know who that is, Diorama. What do they do? I haven't looked too deep into the Lexi Bonner situation, but I keep seeing people say that she took her own life or something, so it sounds horrible, but then there's other people that say that, that people were just making that up. It seems very all over the place, but regardless, it's a very odd thing from what I've been loosely made aware of. You're talking about the, crimpton, the cryptid from Wisconsin, the hodag? I don't know the hodag. You can look into them though, I guess. I like cryptids. Yeah.
Yep, I know Fallout just got that season two renewal. It's good news. <coughs> Look at the Chick-fil-A sauce girl video. Talking about the new Meat Canyon. It's a banger. Thoughts on Sony wanting to buy Paramount? Is that something they're trying to do? Sony in talks with Team Apollo to bid for Paramount. Yeah, this is three hours old. Sony Pictures Entertainment is in talks to join Apollo Global Management in its $26 billion bid for Paramount Global, a partnership that would boost the private, e private equity firm's efforts to wrangle the prize. While the talks are preliminary, the two sides have been hashing out the contours of a deal that would have the Culver City-based Sony film and television studio take the lead in the partnership. If a deal were consummated, Sony would control a significant majority stake in Paramount, according to two people familiar with the discussions, but who were not authorized to speak publicly. Sony and Apollo haven't formally made a bid for Paramount. Instead, they're on the sidelines during an exclusive 30-day negotiation period that Paramount's independent board of directors has extended to entrepreneur David Ellison, who heads Skydance, the producer of Top Gun Maverick. Huh. That would be interesting. That, that would be uh, a lot. Happy birthday, Bubba. There's a new M. Night Shyamalan movie. It's called Trap. Looks good, but will most likely flop. M. Night Shyamalan ain't made nothing but flops for the last couple years. The best thing he's made is the old, the movie about the beach that makes you old. And that's only because it was so silly. Like, conceptually. His membership traffic. He had that other one a couple years ago. Um... Cab cabin, super super scary cabin. What, the one with Dave Batista. What was the name of that one? And yeah, I heard Witcher's ending after season five. And I heard the dance cabin dance new news. Knock at the cabin. That's the one. Man, that movie was a stinker. Aaron and I saw that on release day. It wasn't even like entertainingly Shyamalan stinky. He's a membership commander. <clears throat> nah, it was good. It's always surprising me that people like to knock at the cabin. What's it, what's its score? Like, what do the critics think of that? I'm curious. I thought it was terrible. It's got a 63 on Rotten Tomatoes. That is... In a front. There's the membership cowboy. I'm doing alright. Yeah, we're doing some siege in a little bit. I'm not sure cooties. Hopefully, we don't have to. He's a prime solo. But no, I didn't know he was making a new movie yet. I'll look it up. Oh, this just came out 10 hours ago. That's why I haven't heard of it. It's a membership saline. I haven't stopped watching One Piece because of Fishman. I'm just taking a long break because of Fishman Island. That's not a bad idea, Joe. But I probably won't do it. I'll probably just keep grinding ranked. I think it's cool, Caesar. I think it'll be a good team. And now I still haven't seen Late Night with the Devil yet. Ladies and gentlemen, put your I can't watch this whole trailer or anything, not on YouTube, but I... Let me take a guess. Everyone gets locked in the concert venue. I'm just throwing it out there. I think that's what's... Well, I got the concept. He's the butcher. Someone in that trailer is the butcher. Lady Raven is M. Knight's daughter, by the way. That's sweet. I bet you he isn't there. The butcher is multiple people. 
the police force is the butcher. Yeah, it'll probably just be the dad, though. You're probably right. It spoils it in the preview if you skip another minute in. I doubt it. Not even M. Knight would make that mistake. It's probably just a red herring. <laughs> the Butcher is actually an alien whose weakness is water. Yeah, the alien just loves Lady Raven. So they just activate the fucking uh, sprinklers. It for sure spoils it's that. Alright, let me just see. I already got, like, the warning on YouTube, though, about detecting a trailer. So it's gotta be quick. Yeah, they definitely do make it look like it's the dad. Maybe it is. There's no way it's the dad. Remember, this is M. Night we're talking about. It's probably the janitor or some dumb shit like that. Yeah, I would have ordinarily said that, like... No, 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 that's too obvious. But then after watching Knock at the Cabin, I'm like, nope, it probably is just the dad. Because Knock at the Cabin was just so fucking stupid. Oh, I'm familiar with them, Spartan. That would be pretty cool. Bet it's the daughter, like others are saying. She's a fan. Why else would the butcher be there if they aren't a fan? Yeah, but the butcher... The, the daughter looks like she's, like, 14. How many people could she have possibly killed to get the entire fucking police force here to set up an entire concert just to lure her out? But then again, it is M. Night. So maybe she visited the beach that makes you young and she's actually, like, 40 years old. Have you seen the trailer for Sasquatch Sunset? The first 10 seconds of it has Bigfoot sex. You've got my attention now. And I've not played the new Bindi. Nah, she's just split personality. I guess. Now, let me look up M. Night's filmography again. I think his last good movie was Split. Glass was terrible and I can't remember what else he's had after that besides old and knock at the cabin okay I don't know this one wide awake L people love wide awake but I don't remember it six cents obviously unbreakable obviously signs yeah I only vaguely remember the village lady in the water yeah, I didn't think it was good. The Happening, one of the considered one of the worst movies ever made. The Last Airbender, actually one of the worst movies ever made. After Earth, everyone fucking hated it. I didn't bother seeing it. The Visit. So I didn't know this was a Shyamalan movie when I went to see it in theaters. I thought it was just like your normal horror schlop. And for the most part, it is. But it actually has like a really good twist that I did not see coming at all that they execute so nonchalantly that I was like, oh, fuck it, flames. <laughs> that was good. I need to get some shiksy. Split. I liked Split. Glass, bad. Old, bad. Knock at the cabin, bad. Trap. Not out yet. So he's been on like a dog shit streak since at least 2008 with the occasional decent movie. Oh, not even occasional. He has two decent movies in that time. What if the butcher is a butcher knife that takes control of whoever picks it up and makes them kill someone? That's too much for M. Night. No shot. Glass is fire. Glass is so bad. Such a pathetic end to what he built up with that. I thought Glass was awful. <laughs> 
Things of Prime Grateful. The membership cow. I can't remember if I moist metered it. I think I did. But that was when I was still way too nice to things. I think I gave that like a 50. A 50 or 60 maybe. I don't know. But it was bad. I thought it was really just terrible. He's a membership TO. You gave it a 60? God, I used to be so nice on the moist meters. <laughs> Holy shit. I gave that a 60. I still haven't seen Tenet. So I don't know. I haven't watched it. You seen Knives Out? I like Knives Out. Knives Out was good. You gave The Mummy 2017 a 50, which is crazy. Oh my god, that's so wild! I was so nice on the early moist meters. Ugh. I gave Mummy 2017 a 50? Is it an interview 3? I haven't even heard of that rant. Or is it like an article? Redo them and yeah, just be significantly more harsh. You seen Inception? Love Inception. <clears throat> Check the Moist Meter website and go over your past reviews. That's not a bad idea. Let me see. Someone put them all there. Wow, someone made a dot org for it. <laughs> Like, that's so cool. <laughs> All right. That's handy. Oh, that's awesome. Thanks, Virtual Bird. I appreciate that. And yeah, absolutely. And I have no idea, Doomed. I did not I did not like Quentin Tarantino's previous movie, though, Once, a time, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. All right. Let's go through. Oh, this is cute. They even gave, like, a little shit tear here. Poop water when it was bad. And then, I guess, a, a golden shower for the moisties. Oh, wait, I see. For the, the worst movies. So when the things are the worst. Got it. Alright. So far, all these look good. I was way too nice on Indiana Jones Dial of Destiny, though, I will say. I think the main reason why I kind of gave it a little more than it deserved, I'd probably give it like a 50 now, but I gave it a 60 because I still had fun watching it with my parents. It's like the first movie we went to the movie theater to see together in a long time. All this still looks right. Flash. I'd probably, I'd probably give it like a 60 now. I didn't hate it as much as everyone else. It's just not very good in general. Hey man, in the Wasp Quantumania, I'd probably go lower, like a 30, 40 ish. I still put it on the worst movies of the 2023 list, though. But I, I definitely think that's way below 50. <laughs> I don't know why I was so nice to it there. That was in 2023. The gloves had already come off. I don't know why I gave it a 50. All these are looking about right. Except for Thor. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I drank a stupid potion on 7-7-2022. I gave Thor Love and Thunder a 65. Who let me hit the crack pipe? That movie is trash. That's one of my least favorite Marvel movies up there with Ant-Man and the Wasp. No, that, has, that can't be correct. I gave this a 65. Oh my god. Someone laced my popcorn with Fint. What happened? What happened? Still on the MCU wave? Maybe? Let's read some solace. <laughs> Check the source material. <laughs> I mean, they seem very thorough on this website here. I guess I did, but man, I don't know what came over me. Yeah, that one is baffling. Actually baffling that I gave it that high. I Nowadays, logically, I'd definitely be putting that in the 30-40-ish. Probably not 40, but like 30-35-ish. That movie is atrocious. It does like nothing right. I even remember some of the things I was saying and they were scathing. Why did I end up giving it a 65? Was it just because of that shit? The, the black and white on the planet? And Christian, Christian Bale, I thought, did a good job. But there's no way I'd, I'd let him carry me to a 65. Oh, they're great, Ram. You're going to love Dune. No, definitely not 100 for John Wick 4, but I did like John Wick 4 a lot. It was very good. I still like it, too. I think it's good. Oh, this one's weird. This is in the other direction. I'd give the Batman a little more than 80. I think the main reason I did that is because I really thought the entire tr car chase sequence was fucking stupid. Like, it wasn't visually bad or anything, but it was really stupid narratively. I must have really let that affect me. I must have made me real mad at the time. Because everything else about that movie is great. Thanks, Risa Bryce. Yeah, I guess so, Kai Guy, huh? I still put it on the best movies of 2022, but 80 I do think is low for that. I must have still just been fuming because that car chase was stupid, like really stupid. Battlefield 2040, 2042 on launch was damn near unplayable, I ended up putting it on the worst game list. But I gave it a 65 because I believed that it'd be better by the end of the year. I kind of saw into the future and was very wrong about it. Holy shit, I gave Eternals a 60. What the fuck? What the fuck? 60 is fair, honestly. It is not. It's more like a 45. At the time, it was one of the worst MCU movies, but now we've definitely seen worse, so you're looking at it in hindsight like, eh, I guess in Turtles wasn't that bad compared to things like Thor, Love and Thunder, and Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. But it's still not good. That is still just bad. I don't know why I gave it a fucking 60. It was also really nice to Venom Let There Be Carnage. I thought that was extraordinarily forgettable. So much so, in fact, that I barely remember anything from it. I gave old to 60. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Why did I give old to 60? What the fuck? Oh, and even more insultingly, I put Black Widow on the third worst movie of the year, but I gave it a 70. What are my scores? <laughs> what was I doing? What are these scores? I These can't be right. There's no way. Because I, I remember even pointing out how fucking stupid the entire movie was, especially with the villain whose superpowers stink. He's stinky, so she can't hurt him. The scores just had, like, I must have just been pulling numbers out of my ass, or Jackson did me dirty or something. Because Jackson and I used to converse on these for a while, but nowadays he doesn't really see any new movies, so it's just me. Like, maybe that's what was happening here? I can't recall. 
But, like, there's no way. That movie super sucks. I'll check that out then. That does sound interesting with the Mika stuff. I'll definitely look into it. No, no, I know these linked to the video. Like, I have no doubt that he got this right. Like, this is what the score was. I'm just wondering why it would have been that. Because I remember hating this movie when I saw it. Like I said, though, it might have just been because Jackson and I used to do them together. And then just, like, meet on, like, where our scores matched. Or meet, like, in the middle of our scores-ish. So maybe that's what was going on? I don't know. That's crazy, though, to give Black Widow a 70. I went, like, full-blown IGN here. That's upsetting. That hurt me to see. God, Biomutant, what an awful game. Thanks the membership, Otaku. Yeah, toss me some footage, noob. Love to see it. All these still seem good to me. Except Cold War. I don't know why I gave Call of Duty Cold War a 70. Had a cool campaign, but terrible multiplayer. I ended up putting, like, no time into the multiplayer. That's definitely too high for Cold War. Thanks for your sub Cyberpunk 2077 to 70? Yeah, that game barely worked on launch. I had so many bugs on my playthrough. I had so many problems with that game. It was very half-baked. Yeah, absolutely. It's great now. Cyberpunk is great now. But on launch, it was so bad... That it actually got taken off of, uh, was it PS3? Or, not PS3. No, actually. Yeah, it got taken off of the PlayStation Store because it would not work. Uh, PS4. Because it would not work on the PS4. Probably should have been lower, actually. I didn't weigh that hard enough. That game was broken on launch. There's a prime sarcasm in the membership, Mickey. Oh my god, I gave God of High School an 80? That is one of, like, the worst written animes of all time. They butchered that adaptation. It's beautiful action, though. Like, the actual fights are fire, but the story is dog-ass. It is terrible. Makes no sense. Jumps around nonsensically forever. Yeah, that is way too high for God of High School. Way too high for that. Marvel's Avengers is 65. Where's that? What is happening to me? Who am I? Who was I? Marvel's Avengers is 65. <laughs> Ugh. What was I? Jesus Christ! Uh, a 65 for that is terrible. Yeah, no, I hated that game. I didn't even... It had to be with Jackson, because like I said, we used to make these together. It had to be... We, like, compared our thoughts... And met on a score. Because there's no way in my right mind I would have ever given that a 65. That game sucked. I hated it. I made fun of that game for so long, too. Like, I, I can't imagine I would have given that a 65. Secretly loved it all along. Why is PGA Tour an 80? Hey, actually, PGA Tour was fire in 2K21. <laughs> I hadn't played a PGA Tour game in forever, but I had a lot of fun with PGA Tour 2K21. I don't even know why I bothered moist metering it, to be honest. But I had fun.
God, rest in peace, Hyperscape. These are all fine. I don't know why I gave King of Staten Island an 85. Like, it's not a terrible movie or anything, but it's a movie that I immediately forgot about upon watching it. It was, like, pretty decent from Pete Davidson, but... Man, it was just kind of a waste of time kind of movie. These are all fine. This is pretty low. Is this for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie? This episode. Must be, right? That's kind of low for that. I like the movie. And the second one was even better. Like, it's so weird. I was, like, super harsh on something like Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which I actually liked, but was extremely nice to something like Marvel's Avengers that I fucking hated. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't, that doesn't add up. Is he reset bleh in the membership horror? I like Black Clover. Black Clover's still good. I don't know what was going on with some of these. I was going through it. Nice membership bin. This is Resub Josiah. Rise of Skywalker, a 40. Yeah. Yeah. That one is dog shit. That's a, I'd probably drop it to like a 30, but it's not like outrageously high or anything. That's not something that's like catching my eye. It's just some of these are either a little too high or a little too low. Like, one of them I saw that's a little too low was, uh, where was it? Where the fuck was it? I just saw it a second ago. Oh, here. Last of Us 2. I feel like a 55 is definitely too low for The Last of Us 2. I was just really disappointed with the direction the story went. That I think it clouded everything else. Everything was still, like, an improvement gameplay-wise over the first one. And it's not like it was a terrible story, but the, the order in which they tell the story I thought was bad, and I thought the ending of this story was really bad and kind of nullifies a lot of what I think Last of Us wanted to build up for itself. But it's definitely not a 55. That should have been higher. Oh my god, Jim and I, man. That's that Will Smith movie. Holy shit, I forgot all about that. Scary stories to tell in the dark. I don't even remember this movie. Well, I remember nothing about this movie. Not ringing any bells. Like, I remember what it's based on, but I don't remember ever seeing this. I appreciate that, Rose. Um, probably Twitter would be easiest. Glad you're enjoying Skill Check Poison. I definitely watched it, I'm sure. But man, I remember nothing from it. At all. But I guess I really liked that. I gave it an 80. Or it's one of those weird ratings where, like, I was moderately pleased with it. So I gave it a fucking 80 for some reason. So odd. And then something like Midsummer. I don't like Midsummer. 
I think it is a remarkable step down from Hereditary, which I think is a masterpiece in horror. Like, I don't like it, but a 25 for Midsummer is crazy. Like, it's so weird to look at some of these ratings here. From 2019 to 2021, my ratings had, like, no consistency to them whatsoever. They are legitimately just all over the fucking place. I, I don't know. And then I gave Toy Story 4 a 90. Like, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know what was going on. Your early reviews are even crazier. <laughs> are they? Yeah, we're we're still only in 2019. Man, this 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 scale was all cattywampus here. <laughs> like some of them I obviously still agree with, like Once Upon a Time in Hollywood a 50. I'd probably still give it a 50 today. I think that is one of Quentin T Quentin Tarantino's weakest works. Like, a lot of these I still 100% agree with, but then there were some where I was just feeling some type of way. I was on that loony juice. <laughs> Man, they blasted me with that dumb beam. Damn, I was really harsh on Godzilla King of the Monsters. What the fuck? No wonder Godzilla fans were really mad at me for that. I definitely think it's the weakest of all of the new Godzilla movies. But definitely not a 30. Thanks, membership check. I gave Aladdin a 65. Live action Aladdin. Who was this guy? Who was young Charles? That is so painful. And it's weird, because here's a movie I liked. The new Hellboy. Hellboy fans were super upset at it, but I thought it was really fun. Like, it has almost nothing in common with, like, the great Hellboys or anything. But man, that movie was so fucking enjoyable, especially the last 15-20 minutes. And I gave it a 35. Thanks, Membership V. I just don't understand. What was going on in my noodle? These don't make any sense. Well, some of them don't make any sense. What the fuck is the prodigy? What is this movie? I don't remember it at all. What the fuck is it? God, I saw every dog shit horror movie ever. Still do. Thanks, membership striker. LMAO Moz out of 20. Moz sucks. That movie was terrible. <laughs> this movie is really bad. <laughs> I remember this one. This one was about that lady who just like wanted to feel like a, a kid again, like real hip, so she like buys alcohol for some kids and stuff and lets them party in her basement. It's super stupid. That movie's trash. That is definitely a 20. I don't remember the Prodigy. I guess it's a 40. Seems a little high. Why the fuck is Kingdom Hearts 3 a 70? Where's Kingdom Hearts 3? Did I, pa did I pass it or did you scroll down ahead of me? Oh, here it is. Brother, I couldn't tell you why I gave that a 70. Those were still some of the most miserable streams I ever did. Yet I ended up giving it a 70. Gameplay was fun. And actually not a single other thing about it. And not even all of the gameplay. And I gave it a 70. I don't know. I do not know.
Yep, there's glass. I gave it a 60. Replica. Oh my god, why was I so harsh on replicas? I remember the movie very well, which I guess is more than I can say for half of these fucking things that I was giving 60s and 70s to willy nilly. Replicas is that Keanu Reeves movie, which is actually a really sad concept f uh, for a movie in regards to Keanu Reeves being in it. Because it's about his family dying and he can't cope with the loss, so he creates replicas of his family. And it's not a good movie by any means, unfortunately, but it, I think it's a really personal one for Keanu Reeves, given what he's gone through in his life. And I was... I tore into it. Jesus. I remember even pointing that out, too. I don't know... I don't know why I ended up giving it a 10. It is bad, though. It is not a good movie. You ever see Titan AE? I, I know what it is. I don't think I ever watched it, though. Sounds sad as fuck. It is, especially if you know what Keanu Reeves has been through. Hold on, quick text. Alright, I'm back. Thanks for your sub gungu and cumster. Wow, there's a movie I haven't thought about in a long time. Mortal Engines. What a cool concept for a film and a dog shit movie. Okay, some of these are starting to make a little... Like, I'm starting to agree with 2018 Charles a little more often than, like, 2019. This is a little high for this. But only slightly. I'd probably give it, like, a 30, 35. Thanks a membership, Carlos. RDR, RDR2, he's geeking. Nope. I'd absolutely still give that an 80 today. 100%. Amazing game, amazing story. I will never, ever, ever, ever replay it. It is a fucking slog. Nakey Jakey made two great videos going over some of the shortcomings of Red Dead Redemption 2, echoing my thoughts to the T that I got fucking blasted for when I did my moist meter on it. So this one, 100%, I'd absolutely still give it an 80. I will never touch that game again, but it was an amazing game. Oh my god, I was nice to Black Ops 4 in 85. That was when I was in full-blown Battle Royale mode, though. I was playing every Battle Royale, and Black Ops 4 was a fun Battle Royale, but it had nothing else to it. That was the only part of it I liked, and I let it carry it to an 85. Craziness. Craziness. Actually fucking nuttiness. Is your sub tray? Venom? Yeah, that looks about right. I'd probably still give Venom like a 25, 30, 35 maybe. At most. Movie sucks. I hate that movie. I think it's terrible. I think the second one's a, maybe about as bad. And I ended up giving that a 60. So that just goes to show you the discrepancy. Oh, this is one of the best bad movies in modern times. Up there with like, well, it's not up there with Moonfall. But it's in a similar vein as Moonfall. The new Predator movie. It's not new anymore now. But, God, this movie was beautifully awful. That movie was so good.
Holy shit, this movie. Pretty sure I'm one of the only people in the world that watch this thing. Some of these movies, I have to wonder why I even bothered moist metering them. What was the point? No one was ever going to go see Axel. Looking at the cover, though, is actually kind of cute. <laughs> it, was, it was kind of an adorable movie. Oh yeah, I gave Spider-Man a 75. That's probably definitely that's probably too low. I'd probably definitely give that like an 85 in today's climate. I really liked it too. Yeah, Slender Man was terrible. 15% is definitely about right. Horrible, horrible, mo horrible, horrible movie. I was really nice to the Teen Titans Go movie. I don't remember anything about it now. It also teased the OG Teen Titans coming back, which clearly never happened. Here's the lowest rating in moist meter history, the 2% to Gene Rain. Still makes sense. God. Giving Ant-Man and the Wasp a 55 is so painful. This is still one of my least favorite MCU movies even to this day. It's so fucking trash. I'd probably end up giving that like a 30% now. Oh my god, I gave Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom a 65. Jeepers creepers. That one had to be Jackson though. Because he likes dinosaurs so much. Like, I definitely think that's why some of these are so high for movies or games I really didn't like. Not to use them as a scapegoat, but like, I can't think of any other reason why I would have been so generous on some of these. Oh, I was really nice to Incredibles 2. I still like the movie. I still really like Incredibles 2. But it's just not a very good movie, though, which I recognize. And it's nowhere near as good as the first Incredibles. It loses all of the heart. This one was controversial when I posted it because people hated Solo. But that was back when people were still delusional enough to think that Star Wars was going to be good again. And it still hasn't. This is a great movie. Oh, great, exaggeratory. This is a fun movie. It's just your generic sci-fi adventure, unapologetically cheesy and over the top. I stay by that. I watched that again a couple years ago. Still fun. Still a fun movie. What does I feel pretty? Oh, is this Amy Schumer? Yep. That looks about right. Thanks, big gamer. I'll give God of War an 85. That was my game of the year, too. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, these, these scores sometimes just make no sense. I loved that game. And I still ended up giving it an 85. Like, for some reason, I wanted to play, like, hardball with that one. But not some other ones. I, that just doesn't add up, man. That just does not add up. A lot of reused bosses. Yep, and that was my only major complaint. I think that was the only complaint I had for that whole game. I, I th uh... Yeah, I think that was like the only one. Oh yeah, and the title. I hated the title. Still hate the title. I hate games that do this. I will always hate that. Call it something else. There is already a God of War. Don't call the new one the fucking God of War soft reboot. It's stupid. I hate it. I hate it. Still hate it. Star Wars Battlefront, and Star Wars Battlefront 2, and then Star Wars Battlefront, and then Star Wars Battlefront 2, and then Modern Warfare, and then Modern Warfare, and then Modern Warfare 2, and then Modern Warfare 2, and then Modern Warfare 3, 
and then Modern Warfare 3, and they're all different games. It's stupid. I hate it. It's fucking stupid. I absolutely hate it. Oh my god, Wrinkle in Time. This is still probably one of the worst Disney movies. I still... Oh my god, I actually still even remember one of my major complaints. And it sounds like a nitpick unless you've seen the movie. But there's a kid in this film, Charles Wallace. And they say that fucking name 10,000 times. They don't just use, like, anything else to talk to him. If they're talking to Charles Wallace, they say, Charles Wallace, have you considered this? Charles Wallace, what do you think you're doing? Charles Wallace, where should we go? Over and over and over and over again. It's terrible. It's terrible. Though I think I might have given Artemis Fowl a lower score. But Wrinkle in Time is atrocious. And Red Sparrow is that Jennifer Lawrence movie where she gets her titties out. I remember that. That's the only thing I remember about Red Sparrow. Again, here's another movie. Why did it even bother? This is 100% a movie none of you have ever even heard of. A Winchester horror film about the fucking Winchester widow being haunted by all the people that had been killed by Winchester rifles. Why even bother? Honestly. Why? <laughs> Oh, God, Maze Runner. What is the commuter? What is this? I don't know what this is. <laughs> I saw it at some point, clearly. I don't know it. Thanks, membership cheese. That's the one where he gets orders on a train or something. Cool, I guess. I, I don't remember anything about it. I guess I kind of liked it, though. I remember the Insidious Last Key. Trash. What is bright? Now we're getting into movies I just don't remember at all. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is this. Oh, my God. It's been that long? It's been six years since this trash? I thought it was much newer. Huh. What do you know? Time really flies. Horrible movie. I gave The Last Jedi a 70. It's gotta be Jackson. It's gotta be Jackson. It's gotta be. I hated that movie so much. There's no way. Jackson would have gave it less. Not at the time. You don't understand. Jackson used to be a Star Wars fucking fanatic and he brainwashed me on some of that. Nowadays, he's like one of the most jaded people on the planet because all of the things he loves goes to shit like Star Wars. But back then, he was still a huge enthusiast. I think he saw this movie like four times. It had to be that! I hated this even when I saw it. There's no way I would have given it a 70. There's no way! Here's another movie, why did I even bother moist metering it? I actually remember this one, but not because of the movie itself. There's a scene in here where, uh, I think, I think it's the main girl. The main girl's laying on her bed, reading a book. I don't remember why, but she was just reading a book and the camera stays on there for a while. And someone throws a fucking snowball out the window and it sounded like a cannon going off. And I actually jumped out of my goddamn seat. That was one of the most effective jump scares I had ever experienced. 
Let's see, he said Trog and Smoochie. Must have hated the movie, though. Gave it a 20%. That's the only thing I remember from it. Oh, I remember this being very controversial. I gave Blade Runner 75. I'd probably give it like an 85 now. I rewatched it a couple years ago. It's a really good movie. And I remember really liking it in the theater, too. I don't remember all the things I took off for it. I remember the one thing that I was disappointed by and still kind of disappointed by is that I felt there was so much more they could have done with that world. They Well, obviously. A lot more they could have done with that story they were telling. And then they kind of pulled the punch on it. Like, it just felt like they cut itself short. This is the moist meter that WWE kept taking down. They took this thing down five separate times, and every time I used to fight them on it until I gave up. I think it's still up now, though. I think they finally stopped. Oh, yeah. Dog shit movie. It's supposed to be about Bruce Lee. It's really not. They make him like the villain in his own movie. It's terrible. There's the Prime Piccolo. Bro's blaming Jackson like he's Clara on his computer or something. I just don't know what other explanation there could be for some of these. I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Because, like, the ones that are really jumping out of me are ones that I know Jackson also played or watched. And like I said, we used to do all the scores together. So it's the only thing that almost makes some sense. He's a membership, Scott. Call Jackson so he can defend himself. Jackson can't even remember what he had for breakfast on a daily basis. He is not going to remember fucking five years ago. It's worthless to even ask. He'll be like, wait, what what movie? When did wait, when did when did they make a new Star Wars? Like he's not he doesn't he doesn't remember anything. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. Oh man, the Dark Tower was dog shit, I remember that. Atomic Blonde was cool. I was kind of... I, I, don't, I guess I don't remember enough about it, but that seems kind of low. I remember liking Atomic Blonde. Oh, Valerian. Oh, shit. Oh. Whatever. Dog shit movie anyway. Thanks for membership, Kira. Wish Upon, I went really hard on that movie. Still one of the worst horror movies to hit theaters. I can't believe I gave The Mummy 2017 a 50. I, that one blows my mind. How? How? What went wrong? I gave Alien Covenant a 60. Who was this guy? I don't want to meet him. I don't know who this man was, but I don't want to meet him. What? That's baffling. Both of these are incomprehensible. Both of these should be down here with Transformers 5. 100%. Thanks, Arya. Let's resub Daniel. I worked on that one, too. Wait, which one, Andrew? <laughs> oh, wait, it'd have to be Alien Covenant, right? Probably the ships. And yeah, we talked about it yesterday. Zhao. Hopefully I didn't fuck your name up. Oh, you did Valerian and Transformers 5? Nice. Valerian was terrible. 
Transformers 5 always at least has some fun to it. Transformers is always, like, visually fun. Valerian was miserable. Yet I gave it a higher score than Transformers 5. I remember... It's been a while. But if I remember correctly, Valerian was the result of, like, 10 years worth of work. Like, this thing had been cooking in the director's brain for, de like, a decade. And what he ended up releasing was a stink fest. Let me see. Because there was, like, so much hype and expectations around it before it came out. And then it just completely flopped. Well, I really... Yeah, it, it, it didn't pop up, Kobe, but I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I, I don't know if it went through or anything, but I do appreciate it. Yeah, I saw the New Kingdom Come trailer. The original Valerian was one of the inspirations for Star Wars. Really? How how far back does this date? Oh, it's based on... Yeah. Oh, 1967. It was a French science fiction comic series. Thanks for the gift sub, Tacoma. Oh, I guess I could see why it had so much hype. It also didn't even really flop. Its budget... Nope, yeah, it did. Its budget was $209 million. And it made $226 million in the box office. So, it definitely did flop, because that's not adjusted for marketing. $200 million box office buster... Did you mean to do that twice, Arya, or was that an accident? 55% for Bohemian Rhapsody is criminal. Brother, that was like four years forward from here. We, we, we went through that like 30 minutes ago. Bohemian Rhapsody was just not a very good movie. Like, I, There's an infamous scene in there that really kind of sums up the experience. I'll pull it up for you. Oh, this is more than just that scene, but here's a whole video breaking down how terrible the editing was on this movie. It's just, it is not a very well-made movie. Like, the performances are great. They did a great job with a lot of it, but it is put together horribly. Who should be blamed for that? Well, I don't know. I don't know the editor's name or anything, but it still makes the movie not good. So, like, the movie itself is to blame. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I can't just overlook that. It's the entire movie. What is unforgettable? Well, I guess I'll never know. <laughs> that one's been completely forgotten. This is another one of those movies, why did I even bother moist metering it? Nobody ever saw it except for me. Oh, it's this movie about the lady that keeps wanting to fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This movie was awful. I've, I guess I forgot to give it a score, though. Man, I was really nice to the Ghost in the Shell movie. Gave it a 70. What a generous score. Visually, it's a cool movie, but really not much else. I also don't remember giving Mass Effect Andromeda 55. I thought I gave it something in the 40s. But man, I even started with the with the gloves on. Like, I came in there with this, the Sockum Boppers. I played so nice. I The reason I started the Moist Meters is because I hated this game so much, and I still ended up giving it a 55. That blows my mind.
I did a couple reviews before this though, like I moist metered Suicide Squad, um, Don't Breathe, Bin Her, and a couple others. Oh, holy shit, Kobe. Oh my god, thank you so much for that. What about Lucy? Was that the Scarlett Johansson movie? The one where she gets, like, digitized? I don't really remember that movie very well. And a long time ago I saw that turd. Thank you so much for the generosity, Kobe. What the fuck? Thank you, Sunflower. Your principle back then was you try to be an... Tried to be as objective as you could, so a 50 to you was just mediocre. Yeah, but it's just those weren't mediocre. Like, I was still playing really nice. I still try and do that. Like, to me, a 50 is still, like, a perfectly average movie. But this was not a perfectly average game. Everything about it was below average. Especially because you... Like, it's in the Mass Effect universe. So you've already seen the potential of it. And it was still lacking in every possible department from pretty much every other game out at the time. I played so nice with it. And Ghost in the Shell is absolutely not above average. So I don't know. I don't know why I played so nice. This was an interesting trip down memory lane. I don't even recognize myself down here. Was Ghost in the Shell that bad? I wouldn't even say it was that bad, but it definitely... I, that would be something I'd probably give, like, a 50 to. Like, a, that is something I'd probably be comfortable giving, like, a 50 to. Things give some quiche. I did not see that bin. I'll have to check that out. Why do you have Five Nights at Freddy's at 45? Because it's not a very great movie. That's just a barely below average movie. I said all that in the moist meter, man. It's enjoyable. And I think it's great for Five Nights at Freddy's fans. But it's not very good. It's just fine. Thanks, Bar. And I don't think I've seen any of their work, Bar. Love the new Glorb track. I will be playing Stalker 2 and Stellar Blade, yes. What'd you give Barbie? It says NA. Yeah, I, for I completely forgot to give it a score. I'd probably end up giving Barbie like a probably like a 70-ish, somewhere in that ballpark. I liked it. I thought it was really fun. That was a really good movie, actually. I went in there expecting it to just be like throwaway slop. I had a good time with it. Thanks for some Charito. What do you think of Edge of Tomorrow? Edge of Tomorrow was a classic. I love Edge of Tomorrow. They fucked themselves by changing the name like three times. It was Live, Die, Repeat at some point. Then Edge of Tomorrow. And then they brought it back to like Live, Die, Repeat, Die, Live Again, Die, Die, Live, Live, Die, Live. But man, that movie is good. If they could have just settled on a like an actual name to start, that would have popped. Exit tier one Versix in the Prime Abon in the membership Arab Arachi. All you need is kill was also another. I don't even remember that one, but that is atrocious. All you need is kill. What were they smoking? Were they on my Fint pack from back when I was giving Marvel's Avengers a sixty? Quick text. That's the manga name. All you need, in, all you need is kill. Is the manga name? Oh my god, that's a terrible name. <laughs> I hate that.
Love Fallout New Vegas. No, it's not overrated, I don't think. I mean, I haven't played it in close to close to 10 years. No, yeah, actually probably close to 10 years. I think the last time I replayed it was in college. I definitely think it was very, very good. And I imagine it's still good. Yeah, no, I said I'd replay it on stream at some point. I'll probably do most of the Fallout games. I don't know if I'll do 1 and 2. I just don't really like that style of game. So I'd probably start with 3. I think it's good, Gino, from what I've seen. And I know all about the Barefoot Bandit. He's a prime kinney. Thanks, Sinon. Why didn't you moist me to the whale? Because I didn't see the whale till like it was two months out. I was just too late to it. You need to watch Hardcore Henry. It's first person movie. It was so bad, but good. I've seen Hardcore Henry. Nauseating at points, but very creative. And I like the vision. And I will be playing Space Marine too, yes. There's the membership diplomat. Pain and gain. Why would you even ask? <laughs> Why? This I saw this when I was still in... Co I saw this when I was still a virgin, actually. I think I was 18 when this movie came out, and I saw it at a girl's place who I was, like, super interested in. But it was me and a buddy. We went over there, and he was trying to, like, wingman me, and she was not having it. She, she was not interested. She was more interested in my friend. And I just sat there, and I just fucking watched Pain and Gain on her TV in her apartment. I hate that movie because of that. That shit sucked. Fuck that movie. And I tried to get out of it because I knew, like, I figured this was, I was kind of just in the way of them at that point. So I was like, I'm hungry. And she's like, no, it's fine. I got some crunchy peanut butter in my in my pantry. I was like, oh. Yeah, no, that's, all right, I'll eat that, I guess. <laughs> so then I'm fucking trapped. I sat there and ate fucking crunchy peanut butter watching Pain and Gain on her TV. Made me mad. That movie sucks. That movie gets a 10% on the moist meter. And it's only that high because the peanut butter was good. Not playing No Rest for the Wicked. Oh, I forgot that came out today. Uh, I'm still on the fence, man. Like I said, I just really don't like ARPGs. I know it has Souls-like elements in it, but I just can't shake the feeling it's just going to feel like playing an ARPG. Like, there's only two ARPGs I've ever liked. It's the obvious Diablo and Path. But I still never even got super deep into Path. I have not seen that, TJ. It's literally just Souls with an ARPG camera, that's it. I keep hearing that. <clears throat> oh, it's definitely like a one meatloaf. It's very minimal. I love the world from everything I know of Warhammer, but I know almost nothing about it.
So guys, it's here. No Rest for the Wicked has officially launched into early access. And it's the like job a of this video of and for myself to give you guys is going to give me personally better vibes than Diablo 4 did. In fact, I feel immediately hooked where in Diablo 4 I just kind of felt like I was going through the motions and I'm not knocking Diablo 4 There's a parry I system and the story is pretty interesting game, and I do want to go play some more of it some blue balls. but when I would say when hey, you want Alex, to play Diablo 4 or, or No Rest for the Wicked I would say No Rest for the Wicked however if you're looking to play obviously with your friends that update has not yet been applied to the game that's the first update that they're going to be making so when that does happen, there's going to be some community game nights and multiplayer. Thanks, so if you guys want to get, you know, and be involved in the community, find people to play with in the community, top link in the description will get you into the Discord and to all the other content that I make here on uh, the internet. And, and I'm still learning and fighting my way through that. But I like the, uh, the isometric perspective for the controller players out there, obviously native controller support. But for the keyboard and mouse players, this is WASD. Oh, no worries at all, Kobe. So no, thank you, you for the generosity. To, to fight. So it gives you really appreciate it. massive level of precision when choosing to play on the mouse and keyboard. So obviously, clearly, this will be coming to consoles at some point. And as soon as we get in a date on that, I'll be sure to go check out some other content creators. Well, I, I want to see some like actual fights, like some big fights. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's not what I meant. I guess maybe this might have Ladies, something. There's an absolute ton and just later uniques in other ARPGs, special items with specific purposes meant to be more central linchpins of your setup. Some other just sort of generic tips then. You can crouch in the game, which actually will it's, make yeah, top down sort of souls is what everyone's saying it is. Nearly fully silent, so you can just sneak around enemies for a better vantage point or even just to avoid a fight entirely if you don't really want to take it. Or you can be sneaking in another way related to that because there are also free crits you can get in this game for going behind enemies, which lets you go backstab fishing on slower humanoid enemies just trying to get behind them repeatedly and then stab it at the back. On top of which, behind them is, of course, just the defensively strongest position, too, against a humanoid enemy. I mean, think about the way that your own arms work as a human. Where's the heart? I don't know. It's a prime. Bah. Oh, yeah, Hades 2, I know, is going into early access, I saw. I am hyped for it. Hope you had a good day, Leo. The art is amazing. Ori devs know their shit when it comes to that. I know. It does look visually good. I just, I don't know. I really don't think I'd enjoy the top-down perspective Souls game. Oh, I remember Death Spank. I love Death Spank. There's resub sleaze. That's not a bad point, Zerfine. Thanks, resub Skynet. Ah, uh, yep, Gigantic's re-released or re-releasing. I don't think it's out yet. Thanks, Aaron. It's out and fumbled hard. Oh yikes! No, wait. Why? What happened? I haven't heard anything about it. Uh oh. Gigantic is back and better, but not by much. Eek. Uh-oh. Hey, it's me, Mug, and Gigantic is back. And that is great. I absolutely love the fact that you can go and play play Gigantic, a game that originally came out in 2017 and then died uh, about a year later. It's a fantastic game. It's a game that I absolutely adore that is bright, Massive fun, server colorful, issues and bugs. A third person hero shooter but with more MOBA elements than most hero shooters it's great oh, you sweet. should Thanks play that, it, but also there's a lot of problems with it and I am very disappointed by some of the things that this new re-release of the game has so let's talk about it I'm going to divide the video in two parts you have the chapters below to skip to the warnings if you want to but especially if you're new why should you play gigantic uh, well as I said it's awesome but it's a 5v5 hero shooter with 25... So is it all just in server issues? Bugs and server issues? Also, it's pay to play, and for a MOBA, that usually makes it dead on arrival. There's a Prime Annihilator.
60 FPS cap never hits 60 is the biggest one. That doesn't ruin the game though, right? That's something they can fix. They won't fix it though. It was an issue in the original version. Oh. Why? Why? Wait. If it was there in the original, why wouldn't they at least bother to do the bare minimum? That's like re releasing Morbius. What the fuck is the point? Yeah, I guess Seraphine. The gameplay from the little I saw was very chaotic, like it seemed they barely did anything from the original. Thanks for some toasty. Hmm. That's a shame. I was hoping it'd do well. Even though I never really played Gigantic, I still wanted it to succeed. That sucks that they kind of blew it. There's a bug in the game when a player leaves, the AI becomes immortal and fucks your team over. Oh. Cool. That seems like a huge oversight. Well, thanks for the five gifted members, Seraphine. <laughs> Do you have any comedy recommendations? Like stand-up type shit? Or comedy movies? Because comedy movies don't exist anymore. I was to, I, I don't remember who I was talking to about this the other day. But I can't remember the last time a comedy movie even came out that anyone ever saw. Actually, I'm going to look it up real quick. Twenty twenty three comedies. They are the top comedy is The Family Plan, and second place is Dream Scenario. I've heard of none of those. I said, I said two movies. I've heard of neither of those. Ricky Stenicki. What is that? Ricky Stenicki is 2024. Oh, this is the thing John Cena did for the OnlyFans, isn't it? Yeah, this is John Cena, Zach, and Zach Efron. This came out last month. I didn't hear shit about it. Seems like a lot of people in chat like Ricky Stenicki. I guess I'll check it out. I'm certainly interested if it's actually good. Thanks, Blackhawk. Other than Ricky Stenicki, what else? We got one. Hey, congrats, Froggy. I'm happy to hear that. Good shit. Congratulations. Yeah, apparently it's good though, Zerfine. That's what people are saying. Joyride. What is Joyride? Joyride is it? Damn, this movie's got a crazy high Rotten Tomatoes for a comedy movie. I've never seen this in my life. Prime. 
Membership live. Hope you had a good day. Oh yeah, the Jennifer Lawrence comedy movie. That came out last year. That's right, that's right. I guess there's a couple. So there's like three comedy movies that come out a year. <laughs> cool. I wonder what made them stop. I think there was probably just... I mean, I actually know exactly why. There was that era where comedy was like on top with things like The Hangover and shit. So everything tried to ride those coattails and they started pumping out like the worst comedy movies ever. And I think it just became such a financial loss that they just gave up. Thanks for your dank. The Prime Zombie. And not really dank. Usually the more time you put into it, the better you get. Have you watched the worst acting in an action movie, in my opinion, called Never Surrender? Never even heard of that. <clears throat> and I've been meaning to look into that, Lou. Coke Bear. Cocaine Bear was hardly even a comedy, though. I went into this movie with such high expectations. I thought this was going to be so enjoyable, and it was miserably boring. It's not entertaining at all. Andrew and I went to see it. It sucked. God, it was bad. Like, not even, like, fun bad, just boring. Just so genuinely boring. There's one good scene in the whole movie with the ambulance and nothing else. Well, I appreciate the long time of watching, and I'm sorry to hear about the breakup. It'll get easier. Thank you for that. Funnel? Fanel? Sorry if I blew your name. Oh, and that's a classic Anna, of course. Oh, holy shit, thank you for that neutral. I would love to have a Rainbow Six, T Rainbow Six Siege team for Moist Esports. I am so fucking into that game right now. I just want to make sure the squad that we get is, like, actually competitive enough to win a major. So I've just been trying to do my due diligence and watching enough of the actual events. And yeah, Ermac looks good. I liked Assassin's Creed... For a little while, like everyone, but now I hate it. Thanks for your sublethal. Thanks, Zooted. Hey, now the Rainbow Six Siege comment got me wanting to play. Let's do a little grinding. Let's play Let's play a couple games and see how it's feeling tonight. Last night my aim was looking pretty good. We're making a push to plat. I'm finally starting to learn the maps. More or less. I remember Adam Sandler's Jack and Jill was the first movie I watched where I realized movies could be bad. That is like a historically dog shit movie. That is true. Things of prime depth. Didn't you get lost on one of the maps yesterday? And it's going to happen again today. But we're... Like I'm getting lost intelligently. Like, I'm lost in a lot of these maps, but, like, I have a general sense of where I probably should go. So, like, I'm getting lost better. Yeah, lost with intent. Thanks for five. You sub speedy. I appreciate that. I'm still shocked you love so bad they're good movies and dislike Wish Upon. Over the years, I've started not hating Wish Upon as a so bad it's good movie. Because it is, like, there are so bad it's good elements to it. But seeing, seeing it in theaters was so deflatingly terrible. Thanks, membership Prescott. And yeah, I'm, if I do Splinter Cell, well, I'll probably do Splinter Cell. I'll do all of them. Are you on Duncan? You're welcome to queue up again if you'd like. I'm actually just going to start playing with, with friends now. Now I'm getting serious. Good question, Jake. I'm not sure. Hop in the next one. All right. 
<laughs> and no, I have not seen that. I don't know what Prisoners or Arrival is. There's Membership Hot. Links to the Resub Dante. What's your favorite map? Might be Border. Or is that what it's called? I think it's Border, right? Pretty sure it is. Oregon's also good. I like Oregon. Oregon and Border are my two favorites. I hate Lair. I hate Night Haven. And those are the only two maps I really hate. Thoughts on Emerald Plains? I have never once played Emerald Plains. It is a perma-banned map. The entire time I have been playing Siege, like the last 60 hours, I haven't seen it a single time. So I'll, I, I don't know. Is Emerald Plains in Pro League? Do they have Emerald Plains there? Thanks, membership Scrimblow and PJ. No, it's not. Then just remove it from ranked. The community clearly fucking hates it. <coughs> just get rid of it. Oh, no Doka Bee, no Solace Ban. I've never seen a Finca Ban, that's interesting. Mm. And I'm pretty sure this is a three stack on my squad. Icy, Wiener, Testicle, and Mr. Tinkle? Is that... No, whatever that is. I could be down, Solus. I don't like headsets. Oops. That's why I don't use headsets. It's the only reason. I do have IEMs. I tried them the other day, but I need like a DAC to power them or something. I feel like no way anyone's coming through this, but whatever. Five seconds left. Speed up and running. Bomb location secure. No, I'm not solo. I'm playing with toes. Oh, this. Okay, this is not where I thought I was. Located by Op 4. Damn, they came in hot. Damn. He heard me turn around and sprint. I heard the drone. I thought I could get him on drone, but there's two there. That's on me. I got rambunctious. I should've just played it slow. Right. 
Oh, fuck yeah. Well, thanks for that, Void. And congrats on the twins. Op for last op standing. Appreciate it, man. Damn, I see Wiener went kind of crazy there. Yeah, lock it in, Yuri. Yeah, let's run that back. Let's do Capkin. I haven't played a whole lot of Capkin recently. And if I had played that slower, I would have been able to fucking cruise there. So just can't, I can't be impatient. I can't be too reckless. No, I, there's no one with a revolver on defense that I like. And I haven't been playing much Deimos either. Secure the bombs. I still like Deimos a lot though. Thanks membership side. Get the one digs. Yeah. I yeah, hope your day was great, Speed. I'm just trying to put these in really unconventional spots. Though I feel like this is probably a conventional spot. That's not really the location I thought it was. Where's this open to? Footsteps. I just don't really know where. I don't have my IEMs activated. Be advised, Op Four has located a bomb. Most of us are just roaming. Oh. Reload. This would be a craziest fucking clutch of all time. Oh, I missed the door. I tried. Pre-firing everything and everyone. Brother, that's the way. That's the only way. That's all I know. Almost worked too. If he was crouched, I had that shot. I didn't expect him to prone. Okay, there's really no point in roaming. This squad is just fucking zerg rushing. I'll do some rook. Thanks, a prime link. I 
What's your rank? Gold five. I'm trying to push the plat. We got to gold very quickly, but gold's looking a little tougher without comms. Yeah, of course I do, earless. And just do PayPal is all. There's a good spot for me to hold here. I guess maybe I can go back. No one ever comes that way, so I probably don't need to worry about it. Plus testicles there anyway. Yeah, I was thinking just stairs, but I see wieners there now, so maybe I won't do stairs. Oh. There, he opened it. Chest. One of them's kind of low. One of the shots sounded like it came from up here. Am I stupid? Guess so. That's such a fucking shame. I had just checked it a second ago, too. That's such a shame. I think membership's... Sukir. Ugh. Down to 15 seconds. Time expires in 10 seconds. Mission critical. Bomb diffuser activated. Bro needs a headset. Well, he slow walked it. I, I don't think I would have heard it even with a headset. I was just unlucky timing because I just checked it and went back. I don't think I would have changed anything. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Anissa. When are you gonna play Gears 3? Pretty soon. Things resub seized. There it's top.
I'm gold five right now. Ten seconds before insertion. Five seconds to go. You must locate and defuse a bomb. Oh, fuck. Tragic. We're good. I wish that guy didn't shoot at the window. I think I probably would have been fine. I would have been able to kill him. He wouldn't have got the nitro off. We would have been fine. Sora. Man, this fell apart. Ugh. Thanks, careful. This is garage. Oh, no, I'll stay grim for garage. We need to locate a bomb. Drone has located a bomb. Thanks, Risa Bushido. Yep, I'll do Gears 5 as well. The worst one. Insertion in 10 seconds. Insertion in 5 seconds. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Quit. Yikes. Tough. Oh, that's a misclick. That'll scare him, though.
been secured. This is plate safe. What the fuck? Oh god! I want to go in there, but I'm not super confident. Thanks for the 10 gifted members, demon. Oh boy. If he's on diffuser, I'm super fucked. Yeah. He was. Is what it is. I mean, if the dude didn't run out and die in the worst possible spot away from the whole squad, I feel like maybe. Maybe. Tough game. Tough game. Tough game. Aim was feeling good, though. Aim was on. You on Duncan? Get some gamers in there. They're coming. They're coming. Grandma had a rough one in there as well. He didn't he didn't get a get a fat one like he normally does. That team was pretty strong. Thanks to Prime Canyon. Goat coup. Is he on? Goat coup was pretty good. Are you trying to play Scooch? Because you said get some gamers in there. Do you play? I don't think I've ever seen you on Siege. Oh my god, Dankin, you fucking deranked. Wait, how we. Oh, did you not play today? I don't know how you deranked then, yeah, because we won our last game. I guess your performance was suboptimal. They knew it was me carrying, so they're like, eh, fuck this guy. I did pop in that last game yesterday. Are you on? What's your Ubisoft name, Scoots? This will be the first five stack. Nope. No, it's not. It'll be the second five stack. Thanks, Cameron. And uh, don't bother, Dankin. I'm just going to keep the no comms for now. Unless it's looking bad. Then we can desperate calm. You guys can calm, though. Like, in-game. Jesus Christ, Scoots. Bronze 5. Maybe this will give us dog shit players to play against. And it'll be free. Hey, they, they can be talking to each other. It just won't be me. I've already started this challenge with no comms. I want to see it through to plat. Unless it looks impossible. It's membership jam. If it looks like I'm not going to hit plat, I'll then start comming for sure.
<laughs> Five stack diamond squad. No, there's no way. It'll probably do... I don't know if they're a five stack on the other side. But if it is, it'd probably do like a five stack of silvers or golds. No, I like Border. I think Border's a really fun map. Border and Oregon are my two favorites, I think. Hey, thanks for that, Infernum. Hope you feel... Oh, sorry. I don't know. Hopefully you're feeling better. Let's do some frost roaming. That's wild from the enemy team. The bands. Yeah, that is interesting. I've heard a little bit about it, Tony. Secure Thanks, the army. Things we should regular. Favorite operators? Deimos, Frost, Ace. I've been starting to like Grim a little bit more. Least favorite, Cav, and Buck. Though I've only played Buck once and I just I was not clicking. And I just do not like Cav. Down to five seconds. Is located a bomb. Get ready to engage. Oh, we're roaming the same spot. Dankin. Thought I saw or thought I heard something over here, but must have been upstairs. guy prone where'd those shots come from didn't they come from here were they over were they over there Sub Daniel. Yeah, I can't after the game. That was a good retake. Good shit, boys.
glass sold. Yeah, I was pretty surprised. They they had a pretty good setup there, all things considered. Secure the bombs. Oh, is that how that goes, Dan? Okay, now I know. They're gonna expect it here, which is why I'm gonna put it there. Five seconds left. Op four has located a bomb. Get ready to engage. Thanks, Prime John. Time to roam. I highly doubt anyone comes to this door, but we'll see. This way. Before I come up top. Yeah, I hear them breaking it too. Unlucky. Maybe I should just challenge that. Okay. <laughs> that man's like, wait, I want to break the other one. Way across the way. Make it as dangerous as possible. <laughs> cool. What a guy. What a guy. I feel like probably up there. We got goat coo roaming it though. Dank is the only one on site. All the rest of us are positioned elsewhere. Okay, I'm coming. Let the phone go to voicemail. Impact. Yeah, I don't think they actually came in yet on site. I think Tankin got picked from this guy. My trap. Successful. Which one got him? Is there some chewy or the mem or the prime chewy? skin favorite dragon ball movie i kind of flip-flop on it i really like the first cooler movie because they play a lot of deft tones in it they have like really good music in it but i think the best one the one that i liked the most quality wise is probably broly first broly movie but i really love the soundtrack to the cooler one Thanks to the membership, Dirk. Deploying 
Oh no, that was good. Man, we're all just roaming and <laughs> shit. We're not taking them seriously. Oh boy, this is a little scary. Oh, what was that? I have never seen that. Alright. A little too much dip on our chip there. Not a single one of us was on site. Thanks, the resub, Kim. No idea, Zerfin. I imagine they probably get banned. There's a prime cheese, but I couldn't tell you for sure. You gonna play Outlast Trials again? I don't know, I haven't decided. I appreciate that, thanks, Rise. I might. Hey Rip, my day's been alright. Hope you had a really good day. You bench. Right now, 185. I'm trying to push to 225, though. I've been putting on a lot of weight, so I think we'll get there soon. Oh 
like that guy dropped. Damn, I can't see that. I know he's right there laying down. I want to push in. Oh, nice. There we go. Now, now, ready. What? That'll do. That'll do. Bro, Claymore. I keep forgetting to Claymore. It wouldn't have done anything there, but yeah, I do keep forgetting. Hey, have a good rest of the night, Cameron. Yeah, new skill check soon. Skill check show on YouTube. Gonna moist me a new Transformers movie? We'll see. What do you think, Ayana? Not bad. I've only played her a couple times. Like, she's pretty fun, but... I don't know. I'd never choose her over Ace. Or even Grim. Who's a tier one, Jerry? Try Nomad. I think I've only played Nomad once. Insertion in five seconds. Jesus. What's that four ping for? Oh. I'm ready, I'm ready. Shouldn't have wasted all three, I see. I got a little rambunctious, huh? Hey, check this out, though. We're just going through the front door. What are they gonna do? Stop us? Check out this bait. No one in there. They would have been on that. Wait, where? Is this... 
Damn it, they just killed my other one. Oh. He's in that corner. I should have cleared that. The diffuser is now secured. No, they were both on the other side. You have dropped the diffuser. Down to one friendly. Op four eliminated all friendly. Eek. Eek. If I just cleared that. Thanks for 10 gifted members, Luke. Appreciate it. We need to locate a bomb. We could have closed it out there if I didn't throw. Thanks a membership, Juby. I have Brava. I've never Ten used seconds. Brava though. And there, someone else did it. Five seconds to insertion. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. I bet I can out aim who's ever on this window. Is that the only guy? He's on cams. He actually fucking peeked it. I didn't expect it. Uh, if he does it again, though, if he makes that same fucking mistake, I swear to God. Maybe that'll freak him out and he'll move. Nope, right, I gotta get something done here. I'm not getting anything done. I'm gonna go over and shoot down because I don't think he's moving. Same with Frost. Oh wait, this is unbreakable. I thought this one was. We got it. We got to go. We're playing so slow now. We're giving this team too much respect. See, they're not very good. Ten seconds remaining. Op 
four last ops standing. Bomb diffusion initiated. Protect the user. Op four eliminated. Friendly mission successful. There we successful. go. Good work. That'll do. That will do. You can break the top hatch next time with Ace. I keep fucking forgetting I can break the hatches with that. Most people don't reinforce them. You're right. I keep fucking forgetting. Next time. Next time. Imagine if we actually calmed, it'd be insane. Brother, you guys can calm in-game. I just kind of started this journey no comms, so I'm trying to see it through to plat, then comms, but... Yeah, if it looks like I hit a wall, I'll definitely just hop on. I did not see that manifesto thing. Tough question, this guy. Probably unlimited games. I'm looking for it, Dan. Oh, fuck yeah. God, that's cool. You have a whole station for it. That's fire. I'm excited, man. Looking forward to it. Yeah, I just looked at his Twitter thing. He's in the middle of a big project. It's a very cool project. Bot Daniel. You've been playing on Gold 5 for three days, you need call-outs. To be fair, I've only been playing two or three games a day. And I still have positive win-loss on them. It's just... it My RP has slowed down a little bit, so it's taking a little longer. I haven't been grinding a ton. <clears throat> Which montage was it for, love? Callouts are like cheats. Exactly. It's cheating. It's cheating. Oh, I don't like this map. This is another map I don't like. I think this map is also shit. The only part on this map I like is the bottom floor one where I can use ram and scare everybody. No, no, what game was it for, though, love? I don't remember what game it was. Try Amaru and yeet into the site. I remember doing that when Amaru first came out. And no, I don't know what that is, Casey. Alright, let's play an op that I haven't really played before. And I'm just gonna make a huge push into site, because they're gonna go top, right? You always start top, I think. The LMG is better. Okay, I'll switch to the LMG then. You need to use your drone to locate a bomb. How do I... I don't think it's that way, I think it's this way. Here we go. Nope. Wrong place. Ten seconds to go. Oh, is a siege montage, love? Okay. Five seconds to go. Proceed to 
bomb location and remember to think of boost if someone gets down it revives them I do remember that I've got you I don't know how to get to site so I'm gonna have to hold someone's hand this way Oh my god, wait, that's right into sight. Okay. The zombie's low. Reloading. Launching replicator. Uh -oh. God, those reflexes, though. Changing mechs. I don't know what that gadget is. Knocked. I can't boost right now. One of them must be roaming. Do we have the fuser? Activating adrenaline surge. Oh, what the fuck? They didn't pick- I thought they picked her up. They had plenty of time. Diffuser is active. Protected at all costs. I just missed that. She's so low. Op 4 neutralized. Mission successful. Just missed that ace. That's so sad. That's so fucking sad. What a free ace. I threw it away. Now they probably go bottom right, isn't that the rotation? So this will be ram. Since they lost, they might just go back there. If they go back, I'll go Finca again. I like that Finca strat for top. That was nice. Even though the boost isn't really what played in, just playing fast worked. That's what I'm saying, man. I do my best work when I just play fast. Back here. Your drone has found a bomb. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds to insertion. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Okay, now I know this looks directly into sight.
Man, they really wanted to shut this down here. They did not want me coming back. Holy. That guy's reflexes are so fucking slow. I didn't see him. Damn. 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 Ugh. He's very low. through. That was so free. Oh, that was bold. One friendly operator remaining. All friendlies have been eliminated. Okay, now they'll probably go down, so I'll go rim. I didn't think I needed a drone, I just had a teammate drone in there. And they didn't ping anything except the frost mat, so I thought it was safe. Thanks, love. I just need to find my way to the second floor. Feel my way around. Until I wander there. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Is this the right? Yeah, it is. I think I missed all of the good spots. Yep, I did. It is what it is. Oh. Thought that was a man's head. Still not too used to RAM. Still learning. Appreciate it, man. Ram is OP with map, no map knowledge is on point. That site right there, I know that could have been huge. I could have opened up that entire area, but I just don't know how to use her very well. Like, I don't know the good angles to take, I guess. Because I've seen it done before on me. So I know you can, I just don't know how. It still worked out though. Like I still pushed them off site with that into my team, so it like still panned out well. Using shield. 
But yeah, right now I'm just so fucking carried by my aim. They're coming there, but I'm not gonna just stay there and hard aim it this entire round. I hear some loud footsteps. I missed! Oh, He's so low! I can't believe that wasn't a headshot. I got him in the chest twice? That's fu- It even looked like it hit his head. I don't know- Um, I don't know about that. I'm pushing up my glasses on that one. I appreciate it, Cheesy. You missed your shots, you just hit your frost mat? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that the shots hit and looked like it did on the kill cam. Hi Dale and Jinx. I'm just gonna red ping this. I don't think they're looking at the other pings. There you go. Oh, that's big. You know where all three are. Oh, oh Dankin, not like this. Oh, no, no, no. We had all the intel in the world. No, no, they're, they're yep, no, 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 no. They're all to your left. Literally all three. Oh, God. Oh, no. No. All three were pinged. Ooh. Okay. Things resub Metro and Muhammad. Losing to this team would be very sad. Things resub cakes. And yeah, I heard about dance cabin dance stuff. Had a good day, Dimson. Hope it was a good afternoon for you. I'm just gonna stay on site here. Next to Resub Solar. I don't know the best spot to play though. Five seconds to insertion. I don't just play stairs. This is like the simplest shit in the world. All I have to do is just out aim. <laughs> but I think they're just gonna go through window again since it worked so well last time. Someone forgot their shirt. 
There we go. <clears throat> How did I not hit that? I, I, how did I not get that headshot? Two are very low. Tell if Duncan's watching the outside or not. Man, I missed some easy shots there. How do I keep missing this? That guy's actually one shot. Five bullets. I think I knocked that guy. I did not knock him. Thanks, Magical. God, I fought like, I'm pretty sure I fought all five throughout that. That, that was another pretty action-packed round right there. I missed so many shots early though, I'm just glad that they've really made it easy by walking into me. They literally just kept lining up. I'll take it, I'll fucking take it. Do I make a rotate on this site or no? I imagine I do, it looks like a site that I would. You do it on the right side of the wall. Mm. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds left. Op four has located a bomb. This looks right out into spawn, right? No, it does not. Not the one I thought it was. This is a little heat check here, we're gonna see how this goes. They'll easily just hear me on that, it's stupid. I don't know this site like at all though on defender's side. the drone. Uh oh. He's gonna pre-fire this because drone drone spotted me. Yep. 
Whoa, behind? Wait. Oh! Fuck, I thought that's where Toes was. Oh, I thought he was there in that shower. Fuck! Oh my god. Shit. 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 Finca again. Well, let's just do Ace. Uh, this shouldn't be this close. We should be stomping. Well, thanks, Ann. It's still gold five. We need to locate a bomb. Your drone has located a bomb. Little Tootsie holes. Ten seconds before insertion. I don't know. What kind of job do you want? Five seconds. Proceed to bomb location and I know you can spawn peek there. Uh, nice, good pick. Diffuser. I'm just gonna red ping that. I don't know if I missed the red ping. After the Goyo, I'm gonna challenge that guy. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. There we go. Thanks for the footholes. Those footholes really came in handy. In. Close it out. Close it out. I appreciate that. Thanks for the bits. Cool. Everyone does that and they're terrible. What? Putting the tootsie holes there? Yeah, that turned around really quick for them. Those footholes were massive for me. I like that. Happy birthday, Paul.
I feel like footholds here make sense though. Am I, am I dumb? Because I, I feel like here would be much better. Nah, okay. I just didn't really like Terraria that much. I played it a couple times, I just didn't really get into it. Down to five seconds. I won't make this easy for them. Op 4 has yet to locate a bomb. No, I'm, I'm just gonna play it super safe. I'm just going to- oh man, are they all going window? Oh, he's kind of low. I know those second shots hit him. Thanks for the membership, Fabian. I'm in a pretty bad spot. Be advised, Op 4 has located a bomb. Oh my god. Scary. Thanks for the membership, Snow. Nice. Nice. I'm still just gonna play it safe. Okay, no, I'm not gonna play it safe. Yeah! Okay, throwing this would be the saddest moment of my fucking life. I'm just staying on site. We're reinforced on that side, so I'm just gonna wait. What? Isn't he just on top of stairs? Okay. Nice. 11 and 4 ain't bad. Thanks for your sub key. The Prime Platinum. The Prime Phone. Alright, we take those. That's a, that's a good game. That's a bit of a heater. You can shoot a Rooney's traps to reactivate them. I love Warframe. I think it's an absolutely amazing game. I've loved Warframe for five years ish. Used to be my most played game on Steam for the longest time. Alright, we're almost gold four. We're cruising, slowly but surely. Just not getting as much RP as I once was. I don't understand what the question is, Mars. I guess. I guess pizza? Uh, Alright. I have not eaten dinner yet, though, so I'm going to go eat. I'm calling it a night. Bit of an early one. We only played, like, three games. We'll play again soon. The grind will continue in the push the plat. Alright. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate the generosity. Thanks for, for playing some Siege as well. Thanking Scoots, Goat, Toes. Have a good night, everybody. See you soon. Sleep well. Bye-bye.